What, you're still here? I, I really did the house tour. Why are you still here? What, you want to see my room still? All right, come on in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in. Come on. Right. Welcome to the It's the LRB room tour. do what every prick does and show you the setup last. So, <laughs> first of all, as you enter the door, we have a, a lovely uh, It's the LRB logo sign, which is pretty nice. Why are you like this, cameraman? What, what, what are we doing here? So yeah, when you close the door, I can I can lock it. I install the lock in it. So if I want to shag someone, I can. Um, and uh, above the door is a, a smart light. I've set that one to change colors because I like a nice little vibey vibe in my room um which is pretty nice and for some reason we have another light right here but it's not in the center of the room it kind of pissed me off why it's not in the center of the room um so we've got two lights for whatever reason that may be um bob's your uncle though so it's all right so uh right here um i've got my own internet i have separate internet and uh, that's my cabin <laughs> I can't, I can't include that. That has to stay. You can't, <laughs> that I, has to stay. I can't include that. So right down here, we have my internet. Uh, I'm currently with one stream, uh, and they do like a TP-Link internet type deal. But it, it's fine for the moment. It's all right. Also, right here, you might have seen this before from my old room at the old house. Uh, this DJ sort of frame artwork thing. So uh, that belongs to me. Therefore, it's in my room. Uh, if you want to pan over to the, uh, to the, the, the action area, if you get what I'm trying to... Uh, Say we have a nice little LED strip going along there. I can obviously change any of the cars I want, but I, I like to have my lights on like a nice little fade. This used to be in my old room above the curtains, so this is in a, a nice better uh, uh, area. So we've got a nice little double bed. Uh, I have my own room, so uh, I can have my own things now, which is very nice. So yeah, we've got a nice double bed, and uh, at the end of the bed, we have a nice, lovely 4K TV, uh, which is very recent, very nice. And I've got a sound bar attached to that as well and on the other side of the bed i have a lovely bedside table which i built myself it's also got a nice wireless charger on there lovely stuff so that's a plug-in phone or anything and it's also got a night light if i if i if i need it in an emergency also there's a watch charger because i have the google pixel watch that came out a few months ago it's a very lovely watch very nice watch uh, i would recommend and also right here i have the uh, google nest hub mini which is similar to one that's in the kitchen if you saw the house tour um except mini and there's no camera on it. Instead, there is a sleep sensor. So it tracks my sleep. I've loaded it to Google uh, and they track all my uh, sleeping. So yeah, let's turn on the TV. Yes! Yes! Cool. So it's similar to the one you saw downstairs in the previous video, except 4K. You can actually see the uh, the amount of... Well, you can't see the amount of pixels because it's, it's 4K. So that's how it kind of works right there. But the quality of the uh, speaker and the TV absolutely stupendous i have the speaker hooked up to the tv via um, optical cable moving on it's literally in the same position as it was in the previous house but we have a we have the couch very nice so if i have guests on stream or whatever we can all hang out there and whatever and stuff like that so yeah so as you can see right here we have the so as you can see right here, we have the letterbox, word box thing, whatever you like to call it. So yeah, I can obviously put whatever I want in there and it lights up. That's all on a smart plug so I can turn everything off at the same time or whatever. Everything's on smart plugs. Just for convenience. We've also got this. This is very new. My dad actually got me this. Shout out to, shout out to daddy. Trust me, daddy. He got me a, a, a custom It's the LRB light up hologram thing. Thing, which is really cool also on a smart plug so that that stays there and it's in the background of my streams very valid very cool also right here we have some disco lights and these are two spare disco lights that i don't use while i'm djing also right here we have a wardrobe this used to be my i've actually just noticed that b is upside down how long has that been upside <laughs> down for is it no it isn't yeah, on everything it is, bro. That was upside down. So right here, we have a, a, a wardrobe. This used to be my mum's wardrobe, but I rebuilt this again. Hello, Finn. Um, so yeah, inside the wardrobe, we've... Ah, clothes! Could you fucking guess? Um, so that's very good. And on top of the wardrobe, I've mounted a hat rack. Well, it's actually a coat rack, but I put hats on it. And on top of here, we've got a load of shit. that's all on smart plugs, obviously. And everything is obviously surge protected. Because uh, in my old house, we used to have a lot of power cuts. It was very long. Um, but yes, we're surge protected. Um, always use protection, by the way. Yes, so up here, we... Uh, uh, I like to call this the sleeper because I have this on while I sleep. Very nice. It sets the, sets the, sets the mood while you sleep and stuff like that. We have a diffuser. It's, there's orange in there at the moment, but yeah, it makes.
makes the room smell nicer, but I think it's run out, which is why it doesn't smell of anything. We also have a smoke machine up there. Why is there a smoke machine? Good question. We also have a, a laser light, a very overkill laser light that's used for DJing. We have like this nice little laser galaxy hologram thing, which you can see on the walls right there. So it's a pretty nice background for my streams. So it's not really dull. It's quite nice, actually. Also, we have a camera up there for the streams as well. As a, well, you can actually see it right now. Hello. And there's also a fan up there for the smoke machine to clear the smoke away and stuff like that. But if you combine a few of these things together, you get this. Hey, Google. Disco Disco. So if you give it a minute for these to warm up, I'll show you what happens in the disco routine. Takes about 15 seconds. Blazer, blazer, blazer. Rock the Tune into the Twitch streams. There's a link in the description. And if I want to set it back to normal, I can just say, hey Google, game time. And it will turn all the disco lights off and change everything back to normal. But yeah, so it changes the whole room back to normal, which is pretty, pretty cush deep and nice. So that's that. And uh, obviously, if you want to peek at the cable management, obviously I'm big on that sort of thing. So I just shovel the cables under the bed. Very unsafe, but it's all right. So we're nearly there. But first of all, I want to show you this. We have a mixer down here, um, which is what my current mic is uh, hooked up to right here. Underneath the couch right here, we have an eight channel wireless body pack mic system. And also we got four handheld mics hooked up to this as well. So that's what's hooked up to the mixer. And as you can see in here, there's all the eight uh, body pack system things. And we've also got uh, a charging thing hooked up to that as well. Very cool. I use that for the broadcasting stuff and I've used it for events before and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And what that hooks up to is my sound system as part of my setup, which I'll show you in a second. So we're finally at the setup. First of all, we got this chair. It's different to the last chair that I had and it's immediately so much better than the last chair I had. It was awful. Um, I was lying in the last video. Actually, I think I did say it wasn't great in the last video. I'm not, I'm not even sure. I don't know. It's, it's a, I could have found better. That's the point. But yeah, this chair's very nice. It's actually got some head support on this one. Uh, and I'm not talking about things that happen under the desk. <laughs> yeah, that's never happened. Uh, yeah, this chair's very nice. It's got memory foam, very comfy on the bum hole. And uh, yeah, stuff like that. So we're going to go from left to right. We have my laptop right here. This isn't part of my setup, but I use it to stream on TikTok and I also use it to DJ. Very cool. It's also got my logo on it. Very nice. It's a very good laptop. Uh, you thought, you thought, you thought. I really didn't. You didn't think. It's an Acer laptop. It's got an i7 in it. It's got uh, very good battery life's great. Very responsive, very speedy. It's allowed me to live stream on it at max quality with a lot of things going on on it. It's allowed me to run an entire show on this thing. This laptop means business. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to get one yourself. Very, very cool though. Although I nearly broke it. Right here we have another hologram, except it's a headphone because this is where I charge my headphones. We have my out and about headphones, which I've not used in a while. And right here we have the SteelSeries Arctis 7s. These are wireless. Very good, up to 24 hours worth of charge. It's never really died on me. Very good, the sound quality is great. I love them. I have no complaints. Right here we have a dehumidifier. Um, it's full up at the moment. But it basically, it collects water particles from the air. Uh, shit like that, basically. Back here we have what I call the charging station. We have like a bunch of cables. We got USB-C. Uh, we have like the, the normal USB thing and we've got an iPhone charging cable there. Just so if anyone wants to charge their phone or if I've got something to charge, I can just charge it there. Right here we have my microphone. This is the Shure SM7B. I'm sure you must have heard of it before. It's very popular among uh, content creators and streamers and whatnot and also uh, musical artists. Should you get one? Um, probably, probably not. It's, it's overkill as fuck. It's but not even overkill, it's overrated. Overrated, do you uh, think? They're overrated, 100%. So Finn, Finn is a, a music producer, so he knows a lot more than I do in terms of these things, but... Unless you scream into it, it sounds like shit. Okay. Genuinely, I'm not joking. Okay, okay. okay. I really like it. I, I personally really love it. So, I'm fine with it, I'm fine with it, and I'll... I'm never really gonna have to buy a new mic ever again. But that's hooked up to a mic stand. My other mic stand actually broke on stream, so I had to get a new one. But this one's actually really good because it's got built-in cable management and it actually holds its own a lot better than the old one. So I guess it's a blessing in disguise. It's huge as well, isn't it? Well, yeah, it has to, it has to be huge because we've got a two meter desk. My desk is from Ikea. It's a two meter desk. It's the same as obviously before. Got two Alex drawers either side. I'm not sure what the tabletop is called, but I'll leave a link in the description anyway. Very good desk. It's very thick. Um, I'm not a big fan of the standing desk though, because I like to have things in my drawers. I like to have storage and stuff like that. You don't really get that often with standing desks, but otherwise I'd probably get a standing desk, but you know. So we have a three monitor setup right here. As you can see, we have two uh, 1080 uh, monitors, but one of them is vertical. I usually have my OBS on here when I stream or record so I can see my chat, all my overlays and stuff like that. Everything I need to see all on one screen. This would be my gaming monitor. It's a, uh, uh, it's a 165 hertz uh, 1080p monitor from Iyama. Obviously, as for everything, it will be in the description. I'm going to stop saying that now because you've heard it too many times. Very good monitor. I like it very much. And right here, we have a, a pretty cheap 1050 monitor from LG. I've had this one for like a good four years at least. But that's I literally just have Discord or whatever else. 
um, on that monitor. This is on DisplayPort, this is on HDMI, and that is on DVI. So I have a, well, I'll tell you the PC specs in a little minute. Yeah, right here, we got a, a remote, which controls all of my ring lights right here. So obviously I can change colors and stuff like that, you know, the standard. We've got three ring lights. We've got one on the spare camera. We've got one that isn't connected to anything, and we've got one here that's connected to the desk cam. So yeah, that's enough lighting for me. Um, pretty good, they're like 30 quid each, so it's, it's really not that bad. But yeah, it gets the job done. But yeah, I usually put that on this, which is a, I call it a data hub. You can plug in three USBs, data cards, whatever. So I use that while I transfer footage or whatever, or if I have something else, I just plug into my PC. By the way, all of these monitors are actually on desk clamps, um, as everything is, with my headphone stands, my uh, my mic, uh, my uh, ring lights. These are on. These are all on clamps, so I like to have more space on my desk for other things, such as, you know, all the tech that I've got here. It's a million times better so if you've, if you've got extra money i'd recommend you do it just so you've got a little bit more space on your desk but yeah everything is clamped under the desk by the way we've got a nice little underglow we have a, an led strip under there it looks a bit ugly if you see it but you don't really see it you just get that nice little glow effect under there so i think that's pretty nice and obviously that's all smart controlled as well so this is new for me we got the steel series apex pro tkl 2023 i got this for christmas well i bought it with my christmas money very 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 good keyboard i'll never have to buy another one again 100 percent the actuation is absolutely insane on this thing it's a ridiculously good keyboard it's got many many amazing features on it cameraman's very um, jealous and the cameraman is very je jealous as well cool lighting effects and also you can uh, use this screen to display whatever you want but i've got um sort of system stats on there so i can see if anything gets overloaded or something like that not that it does it's normally just a temperature thing for me when things get too hot and my pc blue screens is actually a temperature thing rather than an overload thing which i discovered recently actually also we got a mouse right here we got a wireless mouse um a lot of people frown on wireless mice this one's actually not too bad it's a little bit heavy but it's okay um, we got the g703 light speed from logitech this mouse can literally last weeks without charging Charging. Very good mouse, there's zero delay in it. Yeah, very good. Also, I, I can plug it in at any time if I want to. The next mouse I'll probably get is a wide one, just for the sort of lighter speed, uh, the you know, the lighter effect on it, so I can move quicker when I'm gaming and stuff like that. And my keyboard and mouse is sitting on this glorious PC Gaming Race mouse pad. Um, I got the XL version. I've had this for like a year, but I've never really used it. I do have my old mouse pad. I did used to use the Elgato green screen mouse pad, but I thought it's not really too worth it at the moment because the camera that's right here, the quality isn't good enough to actually chrome a key out the green and also this thing's a little bit dirty at the moment i've not washed it yet but yeah that's my mouse pad as for some further uh more peripherals we have the original elgato stream deck right here so i can control um some more things like my stream and whatnot and we also have the stream deck xl from elgato so i use this mainly for streaming sound effects and whatever but i feel like i should really like sort of utilize it more when i'm like editing and stuff like that because you can use it for literally anything there's literally infinite things you can do they're a little expensive i'll be real with you they're very good they're very good it's, it's worth it in my opinion and right next to this we have the go xlr this thing is very cool. It's got motorized faders. It's got a soundboard. It's got a sampler. It's got uh, voice effects. It's got everything you could possibly want as a content creator that likes to fuck around with their sound, essentially. This is what my mic is currently going through through this mixer. So we've got the mixer and this mic hooked up to that. On the GoXLR, you can control all of your PC audio separately, like your Discord slash voice chat your game volume, your music, or your sampler. That's what I've got. But you can, you can customize the faders to do anything you want, pretty much. Very handy. It's a lot better than, you know, using your Windows volume control thing. Underneath uh, this drawer, actually, I have a mixer set up. It's got an Amazon Alexa uh, hooked up to it. Should you get Alexa? No. I have the second gen one. Sometimes, well, I used it purely for music. I bought it for music. It was actually like 30 quid. I literally bought it just so I can listen to music at my desk. But yeah, it's sometimes it's very unresponsive. Sometimes it loses connection, although the connection's fine. Sometimes it just stops the music for no reason or whatever, whatever, whatever. That's hooked up to this mixer that goes into the GoXLR onto this channel right here. So I can control that entire thing. Also on this mixer, I've got a Bluetooth receiver so I can connect my phone up to the receiver so I can listen on my phone um, if I really want to on this uh, GoXLR. And yeah, I can plug in whatever I want else onto that mixer which is why I've, I've, why I've got it there. And also under this drawer, uh, that's where my headphones receiver is. So that, that goes into there. And that's uh, that's hooked up to the GoXLR, obviously, as well. This is one of my favorite things about my setup. We've got a lovely box here. And in this box is my gaming snacks. We've got, we got the shortbreads. I love shortbreads. If there's one thing you need to know about me is I love shortbreads. But yeah, I got these for Christmas. Very lovely, and uh, I update the stock regularly. And we've also got uh, my drinks bottle. Pretty standard, seven pounds. 
Very nice, um, so yeah. So, moving on, we have cameras. This is the very first webcam I've actually ever bought. This is the Logitech C920. It's a HD webcam from Logitech. It's very old, but it was also very popular back in the day before Elgato released a load of things and, you know, everything got updated. But yeah, I've got one of those. Um, that's not my main camera. My main camera is actually the uh, Elgato face cam. They actually uh, recently released a 4K version. I don't have that. This is the 1080p 60fps version. But yeah, very good webcam. Nothing wrong with it. I love it. It's great. Yeah, suck out. And this one right here, we have the Logitech C920. 720, I believe that's my uh, keyboard and mouse desk cam. So yeah, if people want to see, you know, how I game, they can, if that makes sense. So underneath the desk, as you can see here, we have some pedals. I use that for my voice chat. So for Discord, I use it to mute and deafen. And I've also got a button that I use there to clip things. So if I do something funny or cool in game, I can just hit that pedal and it will clip for me. Another note, as you can see under the desk, if you want to come down with me here, we have a, a long cable trunking here. That's how I store all of my cable management. I know there's the odd wire that, you know, hangs out underneath here. I try to keep my cable management the best it can be. And I think it's pretty good. Wouldn't you say it's pretty good? It's solid. Yeah, it's good. It's solid, isn't it? But yeah, this took me a good few hours to do just on cable management alone when I moved in here, when we moved in here. Yeah, it took a very, very long time to do. Um, but yeah, I, I would not want to experience something like that again. Also under here, um, we can't reach that at the moment, but I'll show you a B-roll shot. So all of the USB items like my mouse, uh, not my keyboard, but the GoXLR Last Stream Dex, headphones, everything like that, they all link into a uh, USB hub. This is a, oh, how many was it? 16, I think. So there's a lot of uh, USB slots into this USB hub. Pretty much everything goes into, and that goes straight into my PC, which I'll show you in a second. There's also a second USB hub, but this one is just for power. So that powers my uh, Amazon Echo that powers my lights and also the Bluetooth receiver. So yeah, that's the whole USB situation. So right here we have the thing that powers it all. This is my PC. I've had this thing for nearly three years actually, nearly three years. Very good PC. I probably will end up upgrading in the next sort of year or so because I use this thing all the time for everything I do. So you're gonna want something pretty good. So I think I think it's a pretty good, I think it's pretty justifiable. But yeah, so there's two USBs in here and I believe there's one USB in the back. So three USB total. And I'll show you why. The USB hub that's got literally everything in there. The keyboard's gone in here and there's one of the cameras in there. The reason being, uh, there's enough slots for them to go into, but the reason being that they're in the PC is that it just doesn't want to work with the hub for some reason. But it's fine. It's still pretty neat. So I'm fine with it. The casing's really cool. Obviously, you've seen it before if you've seen the previous setup tour. And also around the back, uh, the cable management is pretty good, I would say, for a PC. But yeah, so um, the desk the desk is powered by a smart plug, but the PC is on a different circuit, so obviously if something accidentally happened, if someone turned off the desk or if I turned off the desk, it wouldn't cut off the PC. On that circuit, we've got all the monitors, the GoXLR, the power USB hub, but on the circuit that the PC is on that doesn't cut off is the uh, USB data hub thing that's got the uh, stream deck and whatever on. Just so that if, if something happens by accident, it's it's not going to cause any crashes or anything like that. So that's pretty much it. If you want to buy any of these products or look at any of these products, I've left everything everything uh, in the description down below for you. So that's my setup tour 2023. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more uploads. To catch me on stream, my Twitch is linked down below. I go live every weekday from 1 p.m. And that's about it. So um, without further ado, get out. Get out. Leave the room. Get out. Look at me. Get out. Leave the room. Go! Go!